right guys i'm still updating uh i've only got 17 games left uh to download on my uh, laptop and then i'll be able to play some games i mean make some videos right so i'm just showing you how things are going that's my switch over there i don't know i think if this well anyway i'm watching a few game things on it and my steam decks are over here i'm gonna be doing a few uh, a bit of streaming once i finish downloading the games but at the moment uh the steam decks are just there they're not doing much while well, i'm using them basically as um you know as my main stuff so that's my gaming monitor uh, an oled switch samsung galaxy z fold 5 my gaming laptop over there acer nitro 5 intel i7 with the it's a 10th generation 10 750h with the rtx uh 3060 and that's acer monitor over there and like i said my two steam decks one's on on steam and that one's on windows and my samsung galaxy z fold 4 z fold 5 is over there and my oled switch is over there i'm just watching a few games on it i don't know if i can make the screen brighter see that's the oled and that's just my gaming monitor at the top so basically until i'm able to finish downloading all the games i won't be able to make videos uh because i have to upload the videos anyway so it's gonna be a bit difficult to upload videos if i'm downloading games um i just got a few games i've downloaded gta 5 or call of duty modern warfare 2 and um the world war 2 as well uh, the plan is I'm going to stream games to the Steam Decks. So the Windows Steam Deck, this one here, is on a hub. So like I said, the only way I can do remote play is removing the hub. Like I said, it's got one terabyte micro SD card. It, I don't really need the hub. The only thing this hub is doing is uh, powering the... It's got an HDMI to the gaming monitor. You understand? So it's not really doing much here. And obviously it's charging through the hub. I can disconnect it and I can just remove it from the case and play games because, you know, it's a Steam Deck. The other one, the one over there, that's the one that's uh, on Linux. The the one with, the, it looks like a white case. This is in a transparent case. The one at the back is Linux. You see, it's just got a cable. There's no hub to it. I could easily just take that one, uh, do some streaming, gaming, or put it right here, make some videos because I use this thing. And then record some videos here of me streaming the game uh, from that uh, laptop. It's got NVIDIA RTX uh, 3060. Right. So like I said last time, I wanted to buy an eGPU uh, for $500. But at the end, I got that uh, gaming laptop, the one you've seen with the, color, with the colorful uh, keypad. Now, the main reason why I decided to buy the gaming laptop instead of getting an eGPU is because it was just becoming expensive. The, the laptop, the Asus Assemble cost me $700. The eGPU was going to cost me a further $500. Fortunately, the shop where I bought it from, they were willing to uh, take uh, to buy the um, Asus Zenbook from me for $400, which, which was fine because I had it for like two months anyway. It wasn't doing much. I was just watching uh, YouTube videos on it. So I, I agreed with them. And what they uh, agreed with me was uh, if, if I brought in the laptop, they would give me the Acer Nitro. So the Nitro is that one there. That's the Acer Nitro. So the deal was I give them my Asus Zenbook. Um, you know, well, not give it to them, but sell it to them for $400. It's the same shop where I bought it from, you know. So they were cool with it. They were like, it's fine. Uh, bring the Asus Zenbook. It's got two uh, displays on it. I've got videos of it on my YouTube channel. I don't have it now. I sold it. And then they were selling the Acer Nitro for $600. So what they wanted was $200 cash on top, which I agreed to. And they agreed as well. So they, they were happy to, to, to do it for me. And I uh, only had two hours to reset the Asus Zenbook. And thank God the Asus Zenbook only had uh, 512 gigabyte SSD. It's got SSD in it. And it was very quick to reset the whole uh, laptop. I took a taxi went down to the shop and they still had the Acer Nitro and I bought this laptop. 
Um, I've I've played a few games on it, but the one thing I've noticed uh, with this laptop, the one thing I noticed is the fact that um, it's it appears it it just appears. I don't know why this this um, my Steam Deck's just gone a bit. Okay, I think because it's not doing anything. Right. So so basically, um, what I'm saying is. Uh, what am I thinking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, when I was playing games, War Robots, on directly on the Acer Nitro, I noticed that when I went into the display, it was saying uh, Intel uh, UHD uh, as the display. Now, when I go into the display for the monitor, for the Acer monitor, it doesn't say uh, Intel. It, do, it's, it says RTX uh, 3060. So... I was kind of like wondering, like, why is it saying that? Because it's a gaming monitor, it's a gaming laptop. So I've been watching a few YouTube videos and they're actually saying um, these kind of laptops don't have the, uh, I think it's called a Max uh, MUX uh, switch. What that switch is supposed to do, is supposed to sw uh, change from Intel to NVIDIA. So these kind of laptops, you know, these are the older laptops, 10th generation laptop. So it's a, as it's an older laptop, it's, it didn't have that switch. So this one natively is supposed to use the Intel uh, driver. I mean, a uh, graphics card, the integrated, which you know is not that good. But that's what it does. That's what this laptop does. It uses the, in, in, um, they uses the in, Intel. So this laptop here uses the Intel uh, UHD graphics, right? Um, for basic tasks, you understand? And then when you're playing games, it's supposed to switch. So it switches automatically by itself to the RTX. But what I've noticed is when I went into the display, it doesn't show the RTX. So that's why I was wondering, like, how come it doesn't show the graphics card? But if I go for the GeForce, uh, the GeForce experience, it does show RTX 3060, right? So I was, I was just kind of confused. I went into Task Manager. And Task Manager does show the RTX 3060. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Because if, if I'm just talking, I mean, I'm still, I'm, still, I'm still downloading games. But I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So let me just try and uh, position this properly. Uh, I've, I've just got 17 games left. I was downloading 100, 105 games. So it's a lot of games, right? So... Let me show you the task manager. You see, I was adding games and um, obviously selecting, you see. So I think if I zoom in, let me zoom in. There you go. So it's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU. It's got Intel R UHD graphics, but obviously I don't want to use that. I select the... The 3060 right so games i've installed so far american fugitive asphalt 9 uh what's this one that i think that's rainbow six um siege uh this battle bit remastered um if i see the names i think that's veld experts right i've i've installed a lot of games um but they're all here caliber you see the call of duty games are here world war ii and that's a Modern Warfare 2. And I think that's the basic game, the one that I've got. But I, I do wanna I do wanna buy the Modern Warfare 3. But they're all in here. There's a lot of games. So I've been adding these games and making sure that they're gonna run with uh, high performance. You understand? So I'm just making sure that that's that's how watchdogs. I've got all the watchdogs. I've got watchdogs, uh the first one, the second one, watchdogs two, and Legion. So I've been making sure that these will run on high performance. Right, so I'm just showing you this thing. Uh, let me show you. I don't know. Let me get Task Manager running. Let me look for Task Manager. And I will show you the Task Manager. Let me just expand this. Let me expand this. Um, let me go for the graphs. Right, no, that's not the graph. Yeah, this one. So for for this one here, you see it's the Intel i i7, 
10750. Base clock is 2.6 gigahertz, turbo boost is 5 gigahertz. It's got six cores and 12 threads, so it's it's not bad. It's a good um it's a good processor. The RAM at the moment is uh it's only got 8 gigs, which I'm not happy about. And it's uh, as you can see, it's not um Okay, so 2933 megahertz. It's not bad. But it's only 8 gigs, you know. I I do want to Wait, what is this saying? Committed. Eight, uh, what's this? 18. Wait. How many gigabytes is this thing? Because I'm just wondering. It says a new 6.5 six, uh, 6 gigabyte. Committed is 13.6. And then it says 17.1 gigabyte. Where does this gigabyte stuff come from? Now I'm just wondering because uh, I'm pretty sure this is an 8 gig uh, laptop. I mean the RAM. I'm talking about RAM. Oh yeah, there you go. The RAM, it does say it's 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'm just wondering why it's saying uh, 17. Like where does that come from? Is that uh, taken from the SSDs or something? But it does say, you see it's got two slots. And the memory at the moment is 29, uh, 33 megahertz. It's not bad. But I do want to up, uh, I want to change that from 8 gig of VRAM. Sorry, 8 gigs. I don't know why I'm saying VRAM. 8 gigs of uh, RAM. And I want to up this to at least 16 or uh, 32 gigs. But I think 16 will be okay. Uh, the first disk is going to say, yeah, you see, I'm using the 1.9 terabytes. So that's 2 terabytes, right? That's an SSD that I've got in there. The second SSD is 512 gigabyte SSD. It's got two SSDs in there. Saying Wi Fi. Uh, let's go for this one. So this is the first graphics card, the Intel uh, RUHD graphics. Like I said, I, I don't like this one. It says it's got 3.9 gigabyte, but that's shared GPU memory. Uh, GPU memory is just say 3.9 gigahertz, gigabytes. <laughs> I don't know why I say gigahertz. But I mean, this, this, we all know that Intel doesn't use this much graphics. Um, I mean, I've never seen a, a Intel graphics using that much. I think it says 128 megabytes. So I don't think, I don't think it can even reach 3.9. It's saying shared, right? So we go to the main one. This is the main card. So as this is the main card, that's a NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU. And as you can see, it does say dedicated GPU memory, six gigabytes. Uh, shared GPU memory, it does say 3.9. I don't know why it would say that, but anyway, it says 3.9 gigabytes, and that's shared GPU memory. Uh, dedicated GPU memory it does say 6 gigabytes. And like I said, this is not Max Q. This is a laptop GPU. So this is a proper 3060 um, a graphics card. So it's got two graphics cards. I mean, it's got two, uh, it's got the integrated one and then it's got, um, you know, the, the one that I want to use. But like I said, when I was playing games, I just, well, anyway, let me take you guys to the, I, I, I might be saying this the wrong way. Uh, let me take you guys to, what am I looking for? Uh, right, so the NVIDIA control panel comes out. Guys, I know the 3060 is old, yeah? I know it's old, but um, I have not had a gaming laptop in a long time. So there you go. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 uh, laptop GPU. So it's actually telling what um, graphics it's using and then inf uh, system information. Uh, let's wait for this one. Shows the driving stuff. Uh, and there you go. Dedicated video memory is 6000. 144 megabyte GDDR6, right? So that's the most important thing. But it's this is how I've selected this at, right? So that's the graphic thing. Now I'm going to show you what is confusing me a bit about this. Uh, all right, yeah, it's, it's gonna take us to this. Let's uh, let me find display. And uh, it's at the moment I'm using duplicates these displays. Um, I've set the monitor at 1280 by 720, 
I know you guys are probably thinking, why not play to 1080? Well, I, I want the games to play with high frames, you know? And these games are games I bought. This is not like uh, Game Pass, you know? I want to play games, stream games, and I want the games to be the highest frame rate, you know? I know it's it sounds silly, but that's, that's what I wanted. Uh, I've got this set at 48 hertz. It... It can go up to 120 hertz. I have to set at 48 hertz. But check this out. This is what kind of confused me a bit. You see? So when it goes into the display, it doesn't show it doesn't show the um, RTX. It shows this instead. Intel R UHD graphics family and uh, so forth. And then it says total available graphics memory 4139 megabytes. And it says dedicated video memory is 128 megabytes, you see? So this is what confuses me. Like, why is it showing this uh, graphics card? Why is it not showing the RTX one, you know? I mean, it's got the latest drivers and all that, but um, you, you know what I mean? I, I, do, I just don't understand this, um, this, this part. Right, um, let me see something else. I've got GPU Z. Gonna start this one. What GPU Z will do is it just shows um, what graphics is running on the laptop itself. Uh, yes, yeah, come out now. So as you can see, it does say NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 laptop GPU. And the memory type is G GDDR6. Uh, memory size is 6144 megabyte, which is cool. And it does say it's a laptop GPU. It also has Intel UHD, so it's gonna change that one. And uh, let's see what it says on memory. So memory type is DDR4. It's not actually showing the memory size, it just says NA, which is kind of weird. But um, it's an Intel R UHD graphics. It's a Comet Lake GT2, right? Um, I mean, it's, it's not bad. It's not a bad card. From what I can tell, it's not a bad card. It's got 349 megahertz. Uh, memory it uses is uh, 1464 megahertz. Boost clock, it goes up to 1147 or 1150. So it's not bad. I mean, it's, it looks like it could play some type of games. You could probably play some kind of games on this, um, this one. But obviously, I didn't buy this laptop for, for UHD graphics. I bought it for this other one you know it's gonna change it back to the nvidia one so i got it because of this nvidia and i mean look at the the boost clock on this it says 900 megahertz for the gpu clock uh memory it uses 1750 megahertz and the boost it goes to 1425 megahertz so i mean from 900 to 1425 memory 1750 megahertz so the RAM in this is not bad. The RAM is uh, 2933, I think. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I remember. Let's see. Where's the task manager? Right. So why do I keep going into this stuff? Uh, it's, it's just like I, I'm getting confused with... Um, wait, where's the RAM? I'm looking for RAM. Um, so the RAM is uh, 2933 megahertz. And it's got two of those. So it's about what... 6,000 maybe 6,000 megahertz. I don't know how you guys how how it's supposed to be or is that the actual is that like the two cards? Is that the com combined? So that's that would be slow, isn't it? It's not on par. I mean when this was released uh, in 2021 It may have been the the best back then, but I'm just thinking like, you know, obviously I want this to to run you know on the proper one anyway like i said the, it's just strange that the display shows uh uhd and not uh the nvidia so i just thought that was a bit weird a bit uh strange um it does have geforce it does have nitro sense nitro sense is there so it's it's not it's not uh all bad you know so what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is I want to do some research uh, to find out that's Nitro Sense, and you can actually set this to custom and control the CPU and GPU fans. 
right but i've not used this yet uh that's nitro sense i'm gonna go to geforce experience let me try and expand this a bit i need to scan for games because i'm pretty sure no no i don't want it this way let's see filter how do i get how do i scan oh yeah yeah i'm gonna scan for more games so that's geforce now it's it's scanning for some more games um it's not yet finished it's scanning so the games it says 34 games and applications found so i'm i'm sure that's what it's adding so i've got all these games installed now here yeah? veld experts uh all these games are here so star wars battlefront i think these are still going in praise the paragon oxygen not included cursed gta 5 for honor uh counter strike 2 you know th the game i really want to play on this is the modern warfare 3 oh wait is that modern warfare 3 i, I don't have that right go modern warfare 2 just wondering why it's saying 3 that's weird i'm pretty sure i don't have three um i've got two right so counter strike 2 i do want to test it oh yeah and battle bit remastered i can actually play the game now but uh it's downloading on on steam i'm just wondering why it's saying three they have modern warfare it says i got modern warfare three how is that possible no i mean check this check this thing on the top how how do you get modern warfare three because I, I never bought it, you know? I'm just wondering if, if, if this is like a beta or something. I'm just wondering, did, do I actually own this? No, I'm just saying because I'm, I'm pretty sure that I don't actually have, look at that, it says high graphics. I'm definitely going to want to set this to low graphics. <laughs> you know, I mean to, to low. Everything on here is it's either high it's using D NVIDIA DLSS. I, I, oh, it says Ultra. It's It sets some stuff to Ultra. Uh, the Ultra is the weather stuff. But you see, what I'm curious about is I know for certain that I've got the Modern Warfare 2. Right? So let me just close that for a second. I'm just curious about that. Do I actually... Okay, so it's downloading PUBG at the moment. I've only got 17 games to install. So what's left is PUBG, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Siege, For Honor, uh, well, something for For Honor, Let It Die, um, Midnight Ghost Hunt, Waves of Death, Worms Rumble, Super People 2, Last Year, Star Wars Battlefront, uh, the first one, one and two, Paragon, uh, The Overprime, and then Disney's Spitstorm. The, uh, this one is Demonologist and Overwatch 2. So it's only 17 games. PUBG is almost finished anyway. Um, so let me just go into this. I'm just wondering, do I have um, this one? How is this one? That's Call of Duty, yes? But I'm pretty sure this is two. It says three. Do I have three on this thing? Wait, let me, let me see what this is saying. <laughs> let me see what it's saying. Uh, because... No, I'm just saying, I, I know for certain that I don't... Available now. Right, so I'm just wondering, like, uh, let me play the second trailer. I'm just wondering, I, I think uh, I don't own three, only two.
Отсвет. Wonder why it's stopping. Okay, it might be because I'm downloading games in the background. That's so weird. Right, so basically, right, so I don't know why it says, well, I don't, basically, I don't own this, I don't have, um, I don't own uh, three, you see, so they, this, you have to purchase it, so I have to purchase that, the one that I've got is part two, uh, it says, uh, buy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, it includes two items, but I do own this, so I don't know. That's just weird. But um, I the one that I've got, you know, the one that I have, I have Modern Warfare 2. That's the one I purchased. But this one, I'd need to buy it, you see, add to cart. So this is the Vault Edition. Obviously, I would buy the Vault Edition. Now, I was just wondering, because I know for certain that I don't have it. But you see, it doesn't even say 3. It just says Call of Duty. So I don't know if that's just the way it does things. Oh yeah, the other game I really want to test is uh, War Robots Frontiers. They have updated it now. It's got like maps of snow and stuff. Uh, it looks really cool. And um, I did tell you guys I tried to play this on Intel Irish Graphics. Uh -huh. I tell you, it was a it was not good experience. Wasn't the best experience. I mean, Intel Iris. I I don't think Intel Iris is uh, equipped for games. I'm just saying. So I'm not trying to be um, you know. I'm just trying to tell you guys the truth. I tried to play this on my Asus Zen book, and I, I just, I, it, it wouldn't play the game. And this is War Robots Frontiers. It's not like, let me actually play this for you guys. So let me go into the store page and play the trailer. Oh, come on. Uh, this is the same company that made uh, War Robots. So it's Pixonic. I just wonder why it keeps freezing. You see? So I'm downloading games in the background, guys. So maybe that's why. Maybe I should just <laughs> I should just play this on my um on my um what do you call this? On my thing. <sighs> I'm trying to think. You see, I think it's I'm I'm downloading games in the background. So I'm not I'm not trying to make an excuse, I'm just saying the, uh, the truth here. I'm downloading games in the background. I've got 17 games left. I actually was downloading 105 games. I don't know how how do I how do I only show the games that I've got installed. So it says all games. Let's see. Will it just give me the ones that I've got installed? No, it's not actually. And categorize all games, recent games, collections, view, play next, soundtracks, favorites, EA Play, none, blah 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 blah. Okay, so I think what I'd need to do would be like i need to like make them favorites and then when i tap on favorites it will only show the games i have installed because i, I know it says 233 games but i've only installed i've only installed 105 games i mean it's it it may it may sound it may sound like a lot but it's not that much right so there you go um that's the 512 gigabyte thingy. That's the first one. The first drive, it's only as War Robots on that one. And that's a two terabyte one. And you can see all the games I've got installed. All these are the games I have installed. It's, it's quite a lot, right? Some of these haven't yet uh, installed yet. So they're still uh, going in there. But the major ones are there. They're, they're all installed. GTA 5 for Honor, Call of Duty World War 2, 
Rainbow Siege 6, uh, Watch Dogs Legions, Call of Duty. Like I said, I do have the Call of Duty, but mine's uh, Modern Warfare 2. So I do not have the 3. I'm just showing you guys. So that's the 2 terabyte. That was in my Steam Deck, but I removed it. Um, like I told you, in the Steam Deck itself, it wasn't playing properly. I actually want to test this game. You know, this Grand Emprise. This didn't run well on Steam Deck. I mean, I played this on the Windows Steam Deck. It didn't, it didn't really work as well as I wanted it to. So now I would like to test it on this laptop. Hopefully, hopefully I can play it. The other thing I want to do is to stream games, uh, like I said last time, right? And Counter-Strike 2 does work on both Steam Decks, uh, Windows and uh, Linux or Steam, right? So all these games, I've got them installed. I think I said this as last plate, right? Let me set this as size on disk because I can set that too, you see? So if it shows the size, it's installed. You see what I mean? So these are the big games. They're all in there. All of these, if they're showing the, the gigabytes, it's installed. It's quite a lot here. Let me zoom out a bit. So if I start from the top again, so you see, these are the main big games, Super A games, they're all in here. Uh, the Dead Island had problems running that on the Windows Steam Deck. So the main aim here would be to actually, so you see it stops somewhere around uh, around here, around this one. But there's these other games, Demonologist, Speedstorm, Last Year, uh, Midnight Ghost Hunt. So some of these still need to install and the Battlefront Star Wars, um, Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. I purchased those, so they, they still have to go in. Apex Legends, I will install this later on. And um, I think I've got, what's that, World of Tanks thing. I've got the game. I don't know where it is, but I've, I'm going to install that. But later on, because it's, it's just taking so long to install these games. And like I said, 105 games. I'm actually surprised now. Look at it. It just says 17 games. But, uh, oh yeah, and PUBG. So, what I'm hoping to do is I want to stream games. Uh, I want to stream games to my um, to my Steam Decks. And that's what I'm doing with these ones. Right, I'm going to set this back. So, you see PUBG is still going in there. These games still need to get in there. Right, so I'm going to leave this alone. When I leave it to do its thing, just showing you, when I use the external monitor, the that's when the RTX 3060 gets used. If I just use the laptop, for whatever reason, it uses the Intel UHD or it kind of decides which graphics card to use, which I thought was strange. So I want to try and when I download all these games, I'm going to create a restore point. Then I'm going to go into the BIOS and try and swap it or change it so it just uses the RTX 3060, and I don't have to see that uh, Intel UHD anymore. I mean, it will still show, but I, I just want to use the RTX 3060, not the UHD. But when I use the external monitor, that's when it starts using the... the. I heard from... Well, I heard from someone on YouTube saying that that's when it uses the full potential of the RTX 3060. So that's the Acer Nitro. That's the laptop there. Right, in terms of there, that's my Switch OLED. Uh, so I'm just watching some stuff on it. It's got Pokemon Joy-Cons. The original Joy-Cons are over here. You see, the OG Joy-Cons. I've got this controller. I've got some stuff here. Mouse, Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. The two Steam Decks over there. And I've got another gamepad up there. See another DualSense there. That's a gaming monitor. And the uh, Linux Steam Deck and the Windows Steam Deck, Z Fold 4, Z Fold 5, uh, Oppo Reno 5G, and iPhones. I've got some iPhones over there. But I'm just saying, basically, so this is my entire gaming setup at the moment. And the only reason, the only reason at the moment why I'm not playing games at the moment, like I said, I'm still downloading games once I'm able uh, I mean, once I finish downloading these games, now I know what you guys are thinking. Why didn't I just play uh, Game Pass? Because Game Pass isn't as expensive as people think. I can play Game Pass, but what's the point of having a gaming laptop 
and I have games that I've purchased directly from Steam, and then I don't play those games that I bought. Do you see what I mean? I've always said this. I've got a lot of games. I've got 105. I've got more than 105 games. But the thing is, I, I never had anything to play those games properly on. Call of Duty is very demanding. Yes, it works on the Windows Steam Deck. I can play it. I've got lots of videos showing that. Um, Counter-Strike works. Uh, Counter-Strike 2 works. But the problem... The, okay, it's not a problem. The issue is I, I don't want to play the games on low graphics settings, you know? I want to play it like everybody else plays it. Yes, I've reduced the, the monitor to 720p, 1280 by 720 I do that with all my laptops. It's just a habit that I have. I know you guys are probably thinking it's an RTX 3060. Yes, it's a bit old, but it's got 6 gigs of RAM. It can handle 1080p. Uh, to me, that's fine. But uh, the very fact is I'm, I'm happy that the laptop does support 120 hertz and 48 hertz. And the Intel uh, Intel UHD graphics also supports uh, 50 hertz. So the good thing about that is I set it to 48 hertz. And you know what that means. It's just going to be better for gameplay. And I'm pretty sure Call of Duty, I'll be able to max it out. Maybe not max it out completely. I'll play it on medium. But the main aim of why I bought the laptop is because I want to stream games. So the way it's set there, I'm not going to move it. That's why it's like that. That's why I set it like that with the monitor. And you can see where the monitor is facing me directly. So with that in notion, that means when I'm streaming games, those two, they are working together. And then where the Samsung is right here, I'm going to move my Samsung out of the way. Right? I'll move this Samsung out of the way. Maybe shift him over there with the mouse. Put my Steam Deck, one of these Steam Decks there. Either it will be the Linux one over there or the Windows one. Whichever one that I decide that I'm going to place, maybe the Windows or the Steam one, because I can put the Steam one here. And then I'm going to use this uh, thing to hold my phone and record the, the gameplay. You see, I can use those game pads, same thing, you know, or connect that to the hub. And I can just use that to record from the Windows. The Steam, the Linux one is in the background. But if I use it on the Windows, the game will be coming from there. And because I'll be set, it'll be set much higher than low, like medium graphics. Imagine what it will look like on the Steam Deck. It's going to look so much nicer, isn't it? Right. Uh, with, with my OLED, I, I, I managed to find, I have this, um, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's like dark now. But um, I'll try and show you guys how I've got this set up. It's kind of weird. Uh, the OLED's got this, um, the back part of the OLED's quite good. Um, I'll show you how I've actually got this set up. Check this out. You see? So it's actually connected. It's actually charging. <laughs> I just thought that was kind of funny. See? It's actually charging right there. It's charging with this with this cable. I just thought that was a bit funny. Oh my god, it's actually on it was on the edge a bit. I just noticed. Right, so I just thought that was a bit funny. So there's my Steam Decks over there. They're just chilling. Right, so like I like like I said Um like I said once I finish downloading games what I'm going to do eventually, this is an eventual thing. What I'll eventually do is, <sighs> I'm I'm gonna stream games onto my onto my uh, Steam Decks and then obviously make videos that way. It's just gonna be a whole lot easier to play games, you know. Um, my laptop has uh, two slots for SSD for the M two dot M dot two slots. Uh, got two of them, but I'm using both of them. 512 gigabyte SSD, that's the original one. And the two terabyte that I took out of my Steam Deck. And um, I want to get the, it's, it's got a drive bay for the 2.5 SATA drive. So I'm going to get an SSD, one terabyte. And I'm going to upgrade the RAM either to 16 gigs of RAM or 32 gig stick. If I upgrade to a 32 gig stick with the original 4 gig, that means I got 36 gigabytes of RAM. 
I mean, it's not going to do much difference, but it, it might just help with games, you know. Because I've been, I was watching uh, this. Uh, this person was saying something on YouTube, where he said that when this type of laptop has more RAM, it actually helps with gameplay. Because eight gigs, uh, I mean, I think eight gigs is okay, but I mean, Steam Deck uses sixteen. So, if if you need sixteen gigs to run a Steam Deck, then it's it's apparent to me that if a Steam Deck needs sixteen gigs of RAM then that's the base that's the minimum isn't it if you think about it 16 gigs is the minimum for games so uh, i've got 17 games left to download once those are done then i'll start making videos again All right guys um thank you for watching and hopefully by tomorrow i'll have all my games installed and i'll start making videos again and uploading again Right, guys, thank you for watching.